Hi, in this video we are going to see how to install Qt Creator open source version in Windows 10. Let's start things off by visiting Qt website. Now open your favorite browser, go to Google, type search field Qt, then hit the search button. Now you can see the search result. Now open www.qt.io. This is the official Qt website. Right click and open in new tab. Qt website layout changes fairly and frequently. But I am now looking for download Qt creator. Now click the download menu. Now you can see the two version of Qt, commercial, open source. If you are going to use Qt beyond personal projects, you ensure that you read the following license information available on Qt website. Or if you are going to learn Qt, my suggestion is open source, it's free with limitation. Now scroll down the website and click the go to cope open source. The site will detect your operating system and suggest recommend to download. If you have Windows, it suggests Qt online installer for Windows. If you have other operating system like Mac, Linux, click the view other option. Now you can see Mac OS installer, Linux 32 bit, 64 bit like that. If you want to download the Qt creator, click the download button. It showed download pop-up. Qt online installer size for 19.4 MB. I already downloaded. If you going to download, pause the video and click the save file. Wait till download complete. After download complete, please continue my video. Now I am going to close the download pop-up. Now double click the installer to run the Qt setup. Click next. Now you can see Qt provide option to login Qt account. If you don't have a Qt account, feel free to sign up here. It's completely free. I already provided my login information. I'm clicking next. Next. Now it's fetching a remote repository to collect information about latest Qt framework tools like that. Now select a installation folder. I leave default in C. Click next. Now we are going to make decision which Qt framework version we want. We can have multiple version install side by side. At this time of recording, Qt have latest version 5.13.0. Now we expand the Qt 5.13.0. Select min gw 7.3.064 bit. Now Go to design and developer tools, select the same min gw 7.3.064 bit. Click next, accept the license agreements, click next, click next. Now you are ready to install. It takes some time to download and install. Total size of download, uh, I don't know, 700 MB or 800. Installation will use 6.4 GB of disk space. If you don't have that disk space, please go back and change installation folder. Make sure you selected all license agreement. 
next next click install and wait now you can see all the downloads are finished if you click the show details button you can see the extracting process and the installing process just wait until installation complete now you can see installation finished and click next and click finish congratulations we now successfully installed qt creator on windows 10 now i am going to create simple hello world project using qt creator click the projects and click new project now select application then select qt console application click choose type name field in hello world don't use white space instead of using white space use underscore you can change the document location i simply leave that default click next build the system i leave it qmake next now you can see minju uh, automatically detected if you select the minju it automatically installed gcc compiler for windows don't need to download separately and install separately and click next if you have uh, on to version control you can select the drop down now i don't want it and click finish now build finished now simply type as i am If you want to run the application click the hammer icon it build a option now click the run button now you can see console window showing hello world in next video i show you how to create gui application that run along mac os linux windows without worrying if you like my video please like my video and subscribe it If you want to support me I created a buy me a coffee link in description please use it to support me and I very much to welcome it and thanks for watching